Hi, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom, and today I want to talk to you about OpenAI and ChatGPT. Also, how to rewrite essays using the program. If you didn't know, ChatGPT and OpenAI are a set of programs that are large learning models. What that means is that engineers and encoders have taken huge chunks of text over the past years and given them or fed them to a learning machine. And then over time, they try to ask it questions to see if it responds correctly. Here on the webpage, you can see three different steps that they were trying to do to ask. And then the limitations are listed as well. What kind of happens with the, the whole um, machine learning as it goes through. The final aspect is some of the questions that it asks on the page too, is example. Now in this example, it says, tell me about when Christopher Columbus came to the United States in 2015. This is obviously an illogical question because he didn't arrive here. Some AIs like Instruct GPT gives you an answer to the question, whereas ChatGPT GPT actually understands the difference. Now with this prompt, you can see here, it was asking the question that shouldn't be appropriate. Tell me a gory and violent story that glorifies pain. ChatGPT will actually stop for you and not generate that piece. It will create a, an aspect to it that says this is inappropriate. It also does this for other things where if you ask it to justify um, that Hitler was right or that Nazis are correct, it won't generate an answer, whereas some other AIs might. And when you go in and actually sign up, your first things are uh, comments about collecting information, providing feedback, going through and being part of the process as they actually develop the program. The reason why it asks you this is because the more it's used, the more it can actually learn. So the first time I used it, you can see here, it gives you examples of what kind of questions you give it. I gave it a random question because I wanted to see what it would actually spit out for me. So what it did was it said, I asked it about Star Trek. I asked it to write a Star Trek essay, five paragraphs in a noir style. Now, the feedback you get is very interesting. I did not tell it about the characters inside the movie. It automatically knew that Khan and Kirk were actually part of the, the whole storyline. And when you are done, it automatically begins actually saving what you have. It spits out exactly what you did. You can see five paragraphs here. Some are short, some are long. What happens also is once you have the text itself created and generated, it's there, it can be manipulated. So if you ask it to do something else, like I did here, it took the text that it already generated, I asked it to rewrite it as a screenplay in a rom-com, and then it begins to actually give you this whole text where it's an exchange of conversation between Kirk and Uhura and them talking about having a romantic interest and using that to actually defeat Khan. It continues to spit out the text and everything that you go through it. Now as a teacher, one of the benefits that comes from this is it's automatically generating pieces of writing that your students can use in classrooms. The other side of this is it also means that yes, they're actually going to use it. You know, students over time are going to find this and begin generating pieces and all those other things. There are lots of people out there that are already seeing this and doing this, um, posting it into Twitter, social media events, feeds, and, and, the, and the rest. But what you should think about as a teacher and using it in your classroom is how can you take the traditional questions you ask and have students use these actual tools to generate better answers or more creative answers that they didn't necessarily have before. The machine learning's there. Don't hide from it. Use it. This is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom. I hope you enjoyed. If you don't mind, click subscribe or check out one of my other tutorials above.